Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to learn that how we can record wages journal entries. We will see the individual labor wages payment, how we can record the journal entry, and also we will see the collectively that if we have 10 labors in our company, so how we can record the journal entries of their wages. So let's start with the beginning from the individual here we have a wages sheet here for an individual who is a stitcher okay we are going to make payment to him his gross wages he earned is 670 and here we have deductions like he has a mass deduction 100 and advance 200 so the net payable 370 which we need to pay him so what will be the recording of this wages so wages paid on 28 February 2021. So the account which is going to be debit that will be expense account wages profit and loss expense account will be debit by 670 which is gross total. Now here we are the company is spending on the lunch of the peoples or the laborers who are working in this company. So the labor has moved that expense to as an asset account which is labor mess account under the current asset as a balance sheet so whoever is eating taking the lunch the labor we are charging this account as a debit so here we will deduct from this account now 100 deducted from this person so we have deducted as a credit this account after that an individual person he took a loan from the company so the individual labor account who is the stitcher we have made his account as under account receivable will be credited by 200 the company has given him a loan earlier so now the company is recovering that loan after that the bank we are paying either by check or cash that will be credited by 370 which is net payable now let's see the second case the same person we have the sheet here but we are paying the February wages in March. So expense, we are booking as expense this. So wages, profit and loss expense will be debit by 670, which is the gross amount. And labor mess account, as I told you earlier, credit. Labor account, his individual account, he took the loan, that will be credit. What is the change here is wages payable account in balance sheet as a current liability which is 370. So this amount is payable which is as a liability of the company. So when the company is going to make payment of these wages, so the wages payable account, this account which we made earlier as credit, we will make this account debit and bank or cash account will be credit. Now let's see the collective payment of the wages. Here we have the summary of wages. We have five labors with ID number this. Their gross wages total 4260. Their deductions, total deductions here and net payable. The deductions can be total or you can make deductions like I mentioned here labor mess account or labor loan account or any penalty or other deductions. So I'm here just this is an example. So I'm showing here the total deductions. So net payable amount this one 4040. So here if the wages are paid on time, the February wages are paying on in February. So the wages profit and loss expense account will be debit with 4260 as a gross wages. Michael account in balance sheet as a deduction. So that will be 80 because the mess or all the deductions which are made from the individual person like even if it is mess even it is fines or penalty even it is a loan we always debit to his account so now we are deducting from his account so the michael account balance sheet 80 will be credit 60 j will be credit 20 anna will be credit sam 30 and sai will be 30 so the total 220 deduction will be credit at the end we are paying this amount by cash or bank so that account will be credit now let's see if the wages are payable which we are the february wages are paying in march 
so wages expense account with the gross value will be debit all the deductions will be credit here 220 and the wages payable our liability will increase as we are paying the February wages in March so we need to book that expense in February and our liability will increase with 4040 so now when we are paying the wages in March the February wages then wages payable account our liability will decrease 4040 and the bank or cash account will decrease by 4040 so this is the concept of journal entries of wages guys i hope you understand the concept please subscribe my channel as it keeps motivated me to create more videos for you thank you very much and goodbye